Okay, Thursday, the 8th of August, 2024. So, Adrian's daily vlog, sharing smart stuff men should know. Thoughtful Thursday, philosophy and the musings from life. So, the power of asking, the power of asking simple questions. So, this is something interesting I came across a few years ago now, as a, a mentor of mine, essentially, mentioned something um off-handedly once, I said that the most profound questions are the simplest, which makes sense practically as well. Because if you ask a long, complicated question, the chances are that the, the answer itself tends to get narrow and narrow, generally speaking. But if I ask a simple question, do I turn left or right? Is it black or blue? Is it this or that? Then it's much more, it, it could be more profound in a sense of to think harder. When was the first time we did this? Why don't we do that? Why Why is it green? Why is that blue? Why is it like this? Why is it like that? Whatever that thing may be. So it's then worthwhile trying to think then what, this, what is the simplest question you can ask in general. So for example, with some of my clients, with some of the clients, I like to ask them, how do they feel? How do you feel? Four words. How do you feel? Wow. And that gets them talking, uh, expressing and, and sharing and whatever else. That's powerful, that is. A simple question. Simple question. And it gets them talking. And it goes on and on. And, and the conversation go in different tangents in different ways and can go all kinds of directions. That's powerful. But then it could say, oh, why this? Why not? How? Or asking, tell me more. That will make a claim. They make a statement and I'll say, tell me more. Or I'll, they'll say something specific and I'll say, what do you mean? What's that? What does that mean? How does that work? Things like that. So it's interesting in life that as we ask simple questions, we can get more down to the fundamental aspects of something and understand the key principles of something easier or quicker or with less resistance, easier. And that's powerful because then we can start to find the first principles, the core axioms, the core truths in something faster and easier and quicker. That's powerful stuff right there. Powerful. Because then we, as we understand those fundamental truths, we have a clearer view and understanding of the world, of reality. That's powerful. Therefore, we're not delusional. Therefore, we make fewer mistakes and are more accurate, more correct. Our success rate goes up. Very important. Hmm, very good. And then you could say, well, what, what key fundamental simple questions are there to life? Well, what's the meaning of life? Are we alone? What happens after death? These, less than, are we alone? Three words. What happens, af what happens after death? Wow, okay. Do we have free will? Oh, wow. Five words. Do we have free will? Powerful stuff. And those simple questions, again, as I said, help us get down to the core elements, the core principles of things. Powerful. And then you could say, well, again, what key questions are we asking? But also, how can we simplify questions as well to make them simpler, more profound? Not profound, like intentionally trying to force it, but by simplifying, simplifying, simplifying. Are we alone? Are we alone? And that question right there has had countless debates and variations. Well, exactly right there. One little question, so asymmetric, we'd say in finance. One little thing here, you can barely see it. Three words, are we alone? And then all this countless debate and topic and whatever else. That's powerful, powerful. Again, the power of simple questions. And then you could say, practically speaking, in, in the world, asking people, you know, why is this, why is that? out of curiosity and intellectual pursuit to understand things more. Why is it like this? Why is it like that? Well, why do they say this? Why can't it be like that? What? Or even, as opposed to asking a frontal question, which some people could take a, take a bit of offence to, it's, have you thought about, or what do you think about? What are your opinions on? What do you think about this? And then you even, uh, even, <laughs> even mix it even up, uh, mix it up even more, and ask loaded questions. How often do you do this? When do you do that? When will you do this again? Ah, interesting. Loaded questions to really mix things up. 
Again, simple questions, but with the built-in assumption that presumes something, has an assumption, it has something already there that could really get conversation started. For example, um, I can't remember the context exactly, but I had a client and I asked him, I, I, was, I was thinking about some other product or some other service that has a relate that's a competitor basically to their business in some fashion i can't remember the details now and i said uh, what do you think about x and that question right there had a built-in assumption it was a loaded question what do you think it assumed he already knew and it was a simple question as well what do you think about why i forgot i totally forgot what it was and that powerful because right there again one little, little simple question big topic of discussion and debate powerful that's what we want practically speaking they want the clients expressing themselves very useful and these simple questions what's this tell me more how does that work since when how do how how do you know that's a nice one how do you know and that could be something very blatantly truthful obvious and how do you know how do you know very nice nice and simple hmm. So recognize the power of asking simple questions. We can get down to the fundamental truths of something, the first principles, faster and easier. But then again, you've got to be careful not to ask too critical questions. You can get on the nerves of people if you're not careful. And then even be more careful, tread, tread, tread lightly with loaded questions. You've got to be careful with them. Hmm. Because it's you, you draw assumptions too much. It's, it's obvious you did this and it's... It's not obvious. And why did you say that? It should have, should have phrased it differently, not to annoy people. But, you know, technicalities, diplomacy, diplomacy, handling people with kid gloves or not. Hmm. But yes, how cool is that? So otherwise, Adrian's Daily Vlog, sharing smart stuff men should know. Subscribe below. You know what to do. You will see me tomorrow.